is uh, <laughs> middle of September. Yep. Uh, and it is never too early to start strategizing about the holidays because the holidays, um, if you're one of those agents that views the holidays as the time for your sabbatical, <laughs> um, if you're in, you know, the top 25 at West USA, you probably could take a little bit of a break, Maybe but good. for the rest of us, uh, the holidays is not a time, um, to take off and, and there may not be as much activity. But we always find that that second week of January, mm -hmm. it gets hot. I mean, really, really quickly. Mm -hmm. So the holidays is a great time to start securing more buyers, start securing more sellers and, and getting that pipeline uh, built up. So I wanted to talk about the three major holidays and some things that I have seen agents do to be creative, uh, to stay connected with their sphere of influence and to have meaningful conversations with buyers, sellers and, and all of the above and neighbors. So number one, um, obviously is Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. um, I love the idea of, you know, you take a look at, um, you know, the past 12 months, who have you handed the keys to, or who are the very, very top people in your sphere of influence? Go down to, you know, Costco and buy 20, 25 turkeys or wherever you want to get them from and do a, a turkey drop off, you know, go buy and, and this is a great chance, you know, it's like a pop by, you know, but you're going to pop by with a big fat 22 pound turkey um, and, and, and it's a chance to, to connect. Um, if you showed up to my door with a turkey. And you, and you hadn't seen them in a couple of months. I'm in, even if I saw you yesterday, yeah. if you're at my front door with a turkey, I'm going to invite you in. And that's really the goal. The, mm -hmm. the moment that you can get through that doorway and, and be able to sit down and have a conversation with people. I love the idea of a pumpkin pie giveaway. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a, we have quite a few agents here at West USA that, that'll do that. Uh, and they'll go down to Costco and get the, those big, those big giant pumpkin oh pies goodness, are so are inexpensive. Yeah. But what you can do is whether it's turkeys, pumpkin pies, or whatever the case is, you can also do like a host pickup event. I love that idea. Uh, I remember when I was in college, I worked at a restaurant called Village Inn, which is or it was Baker Square, which is Village Inn out here. And every that Wednesday before Thanksgiving, um, there was a gazillion pies and people would come and pick up their pies. Well, you could, you know, we had agents that do it at their home, mm -hmm. you know, have some eggnog, wine, cheese, whatever, it, it, whatever the case is, but it's a chance for people to come and pick up, you know, something complimentary. Yeah. For, my first, you. my, the first thing I brought up, Mike, it wasn't really to just say, oh, you know, oh, you know, whether you saw him last week or a couple of months earlier, the thing is, is most agents don't communicate well with people after the close and, and it's, that's documented. <laughs> and so as a result, you know, the more time that goes by, the less likely, the more intimidated we are. No, let me phrase that correctly. The less likely, comma, and the more intimidated that we become uh, to go over and knock on the door and say hi or pick up the phone or use any of the vehicles for communication that we have today. So that was kind of my point was, you know, I don't know anybody who's going to slam the door in your face if you got a frozen turkey or give it to them, you know, or a pie or anything, you know, even if you haven't seen them in a year. So I guess that was my point from that perspective. The other piece was, you know, we have some agents now who are also using their open houses to over promote the location in which people should come and pick up their pies. You know, so they say, hey, listen, I'm going to be holding this house open on this particular day, you know, uh, and today's the day for everybody who's A through L in my in my database uh, to come pick up your pie uh, or whatever, however you go about doing that. So there's ways that you can utilize this material particular time uh, to promote even your your current business because that person can go back home and all of a sudden they go, oh my gosh, that worked perfect for my neighbor uh, or whatever. So those are some really good ideas from in, in my personal perspective. But Thanksgiving. What a great time to yeah, pick up the phone and just say thank wanna, you for your business. And you may even want to just call them ahead of time and say, yeah. hey, you know, I'm, you know, you're you're a valued client of mine. I want to drop off a, a turkey for you. Oh, well, we don't need a turkey. Well, do you have a family that needs one that I would like to donate to this family on, on behalf of you? So there's a lot of creative yep, ways that you good. can do that. And if you are sitting around with an extra turkey, I could use yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> cooked, right? Stuffed, cooked, and ready to go. So obviously, I, I don't know uh, the order in which these holidays occur. So, <laughs> so we'll talk about uh, we'll talk about yeah. Halloween. Yeah. So same thing. What about a pumpkin giveaway? I remember to this day when I was a little kid, uh, we had a, a, a neighbor. She lived around the corner from us. She worked for Century Twenty One. 
And every Halloween, she would they would drive by and they would put a pumpkin on your front porch. And she had a little thumbnail or tack or whatever, and she would tack her business card to it. And that was 40 some odd years ago. And, and still I remember. still remember it. Um, I've thought about doing this and I haven't gotten around to it. But what if you set up your uh, your your front yard into a pumpkin patch, you know, work out some deal with some people that grow pumpkins and and have two, three hundred pumpkins delivered on your front. You know, you, you have to figure you yeah, have to sleep yeah. out there at night. Just, yeah. uh, you know, talk to your HOA <laughs> first. <laughs> 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 So, no, don't do. Please don't do that. No, I, the I, amount I, of javelina and animals that you would have. No, you, you, you could do some uh, temporary fencing, but have, invite all the neighbors to come and bring their kids, and, right, or Saturday. set it up at the green belt, you know, for an afternoon where you're setting up a small little pumpkin patch. Um, yeah. I like that, especially if you're involved in your neighborhood and you've got a good uh, Facebook group for your neighborhood going on. Do a jack o' lantern judging contest. Yeah, or, or carving. Yeah, I like. You know, yeah. or. Uh, I don't even have on this list. I know agents that do this. Um, well, they'll have everybody come by with their little puppies and their costumes oh. and do a, a dog costume contest mm, um, and then post it all over uh, social media. And then, of course, Popeyes. But uh, Halloween is a great way. Just don't like when someone comes to your door, mm -hmm. kids come to your door and don't just give them a business card. Uh, <laughs> it's just, it's just, I've, I've, I've seen it. I mean, if you're going to give my kid a, 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 a business card, me. you better have a couple big giant Snickers oh with gosh. that thing. You We're know, doing a haunted house through our garage. So. Oh, oh, cool. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a, a top, top idea, idea, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and then I'm inviting out all my past clients and their families to come walk through. Cool. Well, what you yeah. do, have the kids go through the haunted house. And, and, and Ryan, you just have a little area, a little tent where all the parents go sit, give them a cocktail. Exactly. And then you do a presentation on real estate. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know I was going to do that already? <laughs> a presentation. You're killing me. Yeah, yeah. I was I was gonna wonder whether number three was gonna be the Fourth of July or not. So I just I'm glad to see it's going I'm the glad other it's direction. Glad it's finally going the right direction. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh uh, yeah. So we're going the right direction now. Christmas. Th that time between uh, that time between Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Um, you know how many people you have in your database. There shouldn't be one person in your database and or on your phone between Thanksgiving and Christmas that does not receive a phone call from you. Hey, just want to see how things are going. How was your year? Um, I love having the conversations of what are your goals for for 2022? And that's a great way to talk about what your goals are, you know, professionally. So it's a chance to really kind of get into the real estate. But you don't have to talk about real estate. Uh, I'm a believer that you actually can just call and pick up the phone and say hi to somebody. Right. Um, but, you know, make calls. Uh, do a toy collection. I know our offices do toy collections. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do your own toy collection. Find a charity you want to. Uh, deliver toys to and, and and publicize it all over social media, create a texting campaign. And yes, go pick up the toys from your sphere oh of God, influence. Yes. A, again, a great opportunity. Uh -huh. And then if you're doing the, the turkey giveaway or the pumpkin giveaway, um, you know, have create a little postcard talking about Christmas and how you're going to be doing a toy drive and, and so forth. And, and every person that you go pick up toys from, Get a selfie with them and post it on social media. Uh, of course, uh, Popeyes. And then, you know, if you ha haven't done a, you know, Thanksgiving host event, do some sort of, uh, you know, event at your house for your yeah. top people in your sphere of influence. Or you could do it anywhere. Um, to do something to get people together. Yeah. But if you are going to do an event for Christmas, and this is why we're talking about it so early, yeah. um, you want to do it in the beginning of the month, right. beginning of December, because as the it's December get, goes, it gets, yeah. it gets nuts. And yeah. people have got a lot of pent up energy. They're going to want to do some stuff yeah. this December. You know, uh, this is so cool, Mike. You know, and one of the things that we normally talk about last week of August, first week of September is 2022 or the next year's business plans. Uh, because, you know, realistically, what you do today shows up in your pocket or at your closings 90 days from today. And that's still a true comment even in today's market. So, you know, you should right now be diving into what are my numbers for, well, you should already know them. What are my numbers? What are my conversion rates? You know, what do I need to do differently next year to get to where I really want to go or to expand my business or whatever, or to sell some houses so I can stay in the business, <laughs> whatever, whatever category you may fit, uh, fit into. But so, you know, it's a great time to, to look at that. The holidays are a good time. Mike, uh, one thing I just want to kind of transgress back to Thanksgiving on, you kind of brought it up, which is uh, my uh, a very, very dear friend of mine, 
who just lost her husband, uh, she uh, brought me into the business, helped me in the business. Um, and what I watched when I watched her, she switched her business over from paying for leads and paying for lots of advertising to putting all of her money through the Brian Buffini method back into her existing database. Yep. Um, but what she also did was she became a servant leader. She kind of always was, but what she did was she was inviting people that didn't have family locally over to her house for, or our house at the time for Thanksgiving. And, and, and it really bringing people in and there's no better way to demonstrate the caliber of person you are um, than it is to invite a family who's new to the market, maybe can't afford to go back east or wherever they're living uh, to see their family, make them part of your family for this holiday season. Absolutely. All right. So that is our three pack. So there's a lot of, obviously a lot of different things. And, um, and especially for Popeyes, um, I, 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 my kids tell me I have a Pinterest account. Someone set one up <laughs> somewhere. I've never used it. I don't know how to use oh, it. Gosh, but there it. are, you just search, you know, whatever Christmas Popeye yeah. ideas for real estate agents. You're going to get all kinds of different. And you don't even, I, I would recommend don't put real estate agents. So just put ideas and that way you get some creative ones that maybe other agents aren't already doing. All right.